lost people. Uh, things that you find. Uh, things you hunt for. Uh, yes! <laughs> Donuts. Things are close. These are going home. Oh, oh, uh, I think they kicked their legs. Yeah. Things that go underground. Things that are flat. This is the ten thousand dollar pyramid. Today's special guests are Sandy Duncan and Edward Asner. Your host is Dick Clark. Were you dragging that man out bodily this morning? <laughs> What's a little girl like you doing dragging a man like that around by the arm? She started lifting me when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bad chance. Uh, I am curious, yes. Edward, since you are there and we had you on camera a moment ago, do people run up to you on the street and say, hey, Lou, how are you, using the character from the Mary Tyler Moore No, show? because I'm usually wearing a cape and uh, a beard and <laughs> glasses. Oh, does it happen? Do they confuse Not you? that often. Not that often. But it's usually Lou when they see me. How different are you from the Lou Grant of television from the Edward Asner? The, are they two different people? Yeah, he's nice and I'm rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe a word of it. Since, since we are there with you, let us identify your partner. Kay Johnson has been to our pyramid twice now and won $450. You are a housewife? Right. Chasing after, what was it, a one-year-old? Yes, and my son. Continue continued good luck. Kay, let's meet your opponent. His name is Gene Hardison. Gene, yesterday, I'm sorry, we only had a couple of seconds. Uh, what do you do, sir? I'm in the insurance business. I sell equity products, uh, variable annuities, and so forth. That's all Greek to me, but uh, I'll be there to find out the explanation. Sandy, you ready to do battle? Uh huh. Let's look over here to the winner's circle just to refresh your memory. That's where the big money is. And to get there, you play the pyramid over here. Up there, we have six categories. Behind bars, the Fido Fashion Show. Hmm. Stay in circulation. For the record, nosy neighbors. Put it on the table. Sandy Duncan starts us off. Nosy neighbors. Yeah. All right. This is not exactly what I imagine you think it is. Oh. You're going to describe things with a distinctive odor. Mm. <laughs> they will come up on the screen one at a time. You'll have 30 seconds. If you use any part of the answer in your description, you'll hear the cuckoo bird. That means you've made a mistake. Do okay. continue, though. Describe these things with a distinctive odor. Ready? Go. Oh, this is, uh, has petals. It's red. Oh, Rose. Yes. Uh, this is kind of Indians burn it, and it's, uh... Incense. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, you drink it, and I got drunk. Alcohol. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, you eat it, and it grows, it's like lettuce, only it's not, and it's, you make sauerkraut with it, and, uh... Uh, uh Yes, it, uh, it's like lettuce, only it's, it's cast. Uh, all right, uh, this is, you, and you go to sleep for an operation. Uh, ether. Yes. All right. <laughs> Sandy has already broken it to Gene. It was cabbage, and uh, that's a total mystery to you, I know, Gene. <laughs> it's a blank time. It's four to nothing at the moment. Edward, which one of these five remaining subjects are you going to start us off here with? The Fido fashion show. All right. These are things that are put on an animal. Okay, you understand? Things that are put on an animal. Ready? Go. Uh, it's the strap that you lead him with. Um, um, halter? No. Nope, um, no. A strap. leash. Uh, this is what you put on a horse to ride. A saddle. Uh, this is what you get to drive a car. It's a permit. A uh, license. Uh, this is what you mark a cow with as being yours. Branded. Brand. Uh, this is what you drive a horse with. Um, reins. Uh, this is what you put on when you're over your shirt or a dog to keep him warm. Um, um, vest. <laughs> Gene Hardison, you have behind bars. Stay in circulation for the record and put it on the table as your choices. Um, how about behind bars? Behind bars. <laughs> behind the bars it is, by the way. That doesn't change your decision. Not at all. Okay, sir, please describe these things in a prison. Things in a prison, Sandy. Ready? <laughs> Go. Uh, the, uh, the place where the prisoners are kept. A cell. 
Uh, the person that oversees the prison. Warden. Uh, one of the, the men who stand outside the gate. Guard. Right. Uh, their identification. Uh, their striped shirt. Their badge. Uh, a series of... Numbers. Right. Uh, the person who they vent their wrath to who... The priest. Rabbi, priest. Uh, uh, the, another name, the, Army, uh, the, the, the Army. The Army Parish, uh, the, the thing. The, uh, <laughs> the chaplain. The chaplain, not the thing. Sometimes I wish we could record some of these things or play them back for you. I know. You say some strange things. Sometimes. It's eight to five. There they are, three of them up there. Kay, which one are you going to play? Put it on the table. Put it on the table for Edward Asner. Describe these things found on a table. These are things found on a table. Ready? Go. Um, if you look into it to tell the future, it's glass. Crystal, crystal ball. Right. Um, right here. Elbows. Mm -hmm. um, these you put under a... Um, the glass to keep it from spotting. Poster. Right. Um, these have a bunch of little pieces and it's a kind of amusement and you put them all together and it makes a picture. Um, uh, puzzle. Right. Uh, what kind? Uh, crossword. No. Uh, 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 jigsaw. Right. Um, this is a stand-up dinner that um, people go along and pick up. <laughs> Sandy Duncan, your team is behind by a point. That means you have the choice of for the record or stay in circulation. For the record. For the record. Please describe to your partner, Gene Hardison, these things that record. These are things that record. Ready? Go. Uh, this is a person who uh, works in a, a court secretary. A uh, bigger uh, word. A court clerk. Uh, you know, the person... A court reporter. Uh, well, no. Uh, it's like a secretary, only it's a glorified secretary. Takes things real fast. Uh, 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 something ste pad. Stenographer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right, this is a guy who's doing, uh, uh, he's got, uh, well, he's black, and he's, uh, like me, one eye. Oh. Uh, one eye, one eye. Sammy Davis. Yeah! Uh, all right, this is a, a picture of your lungs. Uh, X-ray. X-ray. That's what one calls strange coincidence. It was not planned by anyone. 11 to 9 is the score. Uh, K, the significance of this is two answers ties, three wins you your third opportunity to try to take that $10,000. Edward Asner, please describe for her things that circulate. Things that circulate. Ready? Go. Uh, red and it goes through your body. Uh, blood. Uh, a man who is not married. Bachelor. Uh, uh, makes your, uh, uh, lamps go, makes the phone ring. Electricity. That's it. <laughs> I've seen some anxious people in my life, but it, it would be very nice to thank your opponent and say goodbye to him. <laughs> I mean, this is a bit much, my dear. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you two go, go over there, and I'll take care of the communities. See, we've enjoyed having you with us. <laughs> we'll be back. I've seen some anxious uh, contestants here, but Kay, this is a bit much. No, I'm only teasing you. You've sat in both chairs. Why did you elect to take that chair? Because um, um, Edward or Lou, whoever, is um, um, really good at receiving clues. Okay. And Sandy's good at giving clues. Thank you. All right. Good luck to both of you. Have a minute here for ten thousand dollars. Remember, you're only allowed to give him a list of the things that fit the subject. Any other kind of clue or any mention of any part of the subject means you give up the chance for the ten thousand dollars. You know that well. This is your third try now. You have four hundred and fifty dollars. You're going now for ten thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Good luck. Here's your first subject. Go. Um, the mask. The um, gangplank. The um, um, hold the sail. Oh, ship. Um, pass the scalpel, please. Um, Doctor's terms, operating terms. Right. Yes. Um, president, vice president, Reagan. National um, offices. Nac uh, college, um, vice pre president of a college, secretary of the class. Officers. Um, um. Uh, class officers. No, um. Uh, go on. Next one, please. Um, uh, rubber hose, um, wrench. Tools. Um, 
um, uh, pipe. Um, uh, uh, Watering, uh, water implements, uh, sprinkling implements. Um, uh, uh, I, um, go on. Next. Um, uh, okay, let's do that. You picked up $100. People who are elected through you a little bit, uh, you're just not too well acquainted with the plumbing business. And if you ever attend an operation and you hear a doctor say, please pass the scalpel, uh, check in with me. That was another clue down there. He got it, though. You won $100 additionally, 550 is the total. We'll be back right after this word. Back we go to the $10,000 pyramid. At the end of the last round, Sandy said to me, what was the line about the doctor? I said, I, I, you're married to a doctor, aren't you? Yes. Ask him if they say, would you please pass me the scalpel. Well, I was... He's very polite, my husband, I'm sure he does. <laughs> no, I, my point was, I thought there was a scalpel, sponge, forceps, you know, very... Uh, yes, a bra, yeah. yeah. Oh. I guess if they just have a lot of time in there, okay. <laughs> All right, I don't think so. You're partnered with Kay Johnson. She's won 400 and... I beg your pardon. $550, three trips to the pyramid. Edward Asner is partnered with Dolores Allen, who does what, please, Dolores? I take care of my three children, and I uh, teach fancy cake decorating. You teach it? Yes. I eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, four folks, would you all take a look over here at the six subjects? We have Run For It, Hats Off, Slipshod, It's Magic, The Voice is Familiar, Hands Down. Sandy Duncan will start us off. It's magic. It's magic. <laughs> Please describe these things used by a magician. Okay. These are things used by a magician. Okay. Ready? Go. All right, this is what he waves over the cake. Um, the um, stick. Stick. Um, baton. The magic wand. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, this is what he wears. It's flowing. All right, this is, he puts it around the girl's eyes. It says, uh, uh, you um, don't see anything. Blindfold. Yes. Uh, this is uh, sharp, and you can um, throw it. Sword. Yes. And uh, this is what he puts the girl into saw. Um, casket. Uh, no, Box. it's like it's like uh, uh, a traveling um, suitcase. Stunk. 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 <laughs> <laughs> was a nice try. <laughs> that was a good idea. Trunk came a little bit too late, Kay. We couldn't give you credit for that. The score is four to nothing. Edward Asner and Dolores Allen now have five subjects. Edward will make the pick. Hands down. Hands down it is. Describe for your partner these things that are operated by hand. These are things operated by hand. Dolores, ready? Go. Uh, to open a bottle, you twist it. Um, uh, it goes into the bottle and you oh, yank it up. Oh, uh, This is something you pluck eyebrows with. Uh, tweezers. Uh, this is something you kill flies with. Flies water. Uh, this is something that grinds the opposite of salt. Uh, uh, pepper mill. Uh, this is something you shoot somebody with. A gun. Something else. A pistol. It rotates. The chamber rotates. Go on. Uh, now that's that's the way. Oh, <laughs> The word you sure know, Dolores, but it's probably not uh, in your daily vocabulary. Revolver. Four to four is the score. Kay Johnson, you have four subjects, and which one will it be? Isn't a pistol or something? Hats off. I'm sorry. Hats off. Uh, hats off, I have it. Okay, please describe for your partner, Sandy Duncan, these hats. Oh, hats. Ready? Go. Um, it's French and it's flat. Beret. Um, it's Mexican and big. Sabrera. Um, it's, uh, the, um, it's... Top hat. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a kind of, um, Kentucky... Uh, Kentucky... Horse race. Kentucky... Derby. Um, it, all right, wait, Top hat. Yeah. Um, all right, this is what, um, it's a... Um, thing that construction people work. A uh, helmet. Uh, it's very hard to get. Hard hat. No, go ahead. Sorry. Oh. Uh, this is what Davy Crockett wears. Uh, a cool skin cap. <laughs> and her anxiety, you lose one of the words, but that's like It's eight to four. Dolores, you have run for it. Slipshod and the voice is familiar. Which one appeals to you most? Um. Run for it. <laughs> Run for it it is. Describe for your partner these things that some people try to get away from. These are things that some people try to get away from. Ready? Go. Um, uh, the opposite of um, uh, husband. Wife. Um, it, it's well, what you earn your money at. You, you go there every day. The job. Right. Um, it, 
it swims in the water and it might bite you. Crocodile, alligator? No, no, it's a big fish. Oh, a shark. Right. Um, oh, um, uh, J. Edgar Hoover was the head of it. FBI. Um, it's a big wind coming and it might blow your house Tornado. down. No. Hurricane. Yeah. Hurricane at the end. You got it. Sandy and Kay, you're a point behind. Sandy, you choose, please, between Slipshot and The Voice is Familiar. The Voice is Familiar. All right, this is your last turn at bat. This lady has been to the pyramid three times. She has $550. She'd like to go again. You're one point behind. The other team will follow. Describe these famous singers. Oh, famous wow. singers. Oh, really? Right. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Compose yourselves, ladies. Ready? All right. Okay, ready? Go. Uh, oh, she has a big nose. And she's playing a keyboard. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Barbara Stride, yeah. Uh, this is a country western singer, um, and his last name is Money, only it's not Money. Um, uh, he uh, sings about, he used to be in prison, and he sings about um, railroads and things. Country yeah, western, go on to the next one. All right, she's English, and she talks like uh, this. Mary, Mary or uh, Julie Andrews. Uh, yes. Uh, this is, uh, he sings with Edie Gourmet, his husband. Uh, Eddie Fisher. <laughs> I'm not, not sure whether you picked up the line from Ed Asner. He said, Whittle, Whittle Steve hears about this. Eddie's been married to a lot of people, one of whom is not Edie Gourmet. Uh, it's 10 to 9. At the moment, things look pretty good in your corner, Dolores. All you need is one to tie it, two to win it. Describe, please, Edward, these things that slip or make you slip. Two correct answers will win this game. Things that slip or make you slip. Ready, go. Uh, it's white falls in the winter. Snow. Uh, you put it in your car, uh, you drill a well for it. Uh, oil. That's it. <laughs> hey, my dear, you have $550. We got something nice for your one-year-old at home. Right. We thank you very thank much. Thank you good. very much. You're a good player. Sit here and hang in for okay. a second. Let's find out what's going to happen now as we make a $10,000 decision. <laughs> Are you going to give those clues or get the clues? Uh, I'll let him give the clues. Hey, that's sort of a question in the book. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, let you will. Let's do it right now. Bye. Dolores Allen is here for the first time under the $10,000 pyramid with Edward Asner, trying to get six subjects in 60 seconds, which will appear behind you in a moment, Dolores. And if you get them all in that short length of time, you will win $10,000. Edward, by now I know you know, but we will make a reminder. You're allowed only to give a list of the things that fit the subject. If you use any other kind of clue or mention any part of the subject, you'll give up your chance for the $10,000. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. You're as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> all right, take a deep breath. Here we go. Here's your first subject. Go. Uh, vinegar and oil, uh, mayonnaise. Things you put on salads. Oh, uh, uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Uh, uh, Sammy Davis sometimes, uh, uh... Famous dancers? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, airplane, elevators... Things uh, that go up in the air. They go up. Yes. Uh, uh, beaker, uh, uh, burner, it's uh... Things that chemists use. Are you using a laboratory? Yes. Uh, uh, habeas corpus, um, writ of mandamus... It's, it's, it's uh, things a lawyer usually uses in court. Court expressions. Uh, Lawyer's expressions. What is a... Law. Uh, uh, uh... uh uh, a, a shirt, uh, 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 a tablecloth. Something iron. Uh, uh, a tablecloth. Yeah. Uh, We've had some delayed reactions here that have been funny, but it's one of our better ones. Now, the, uh, the situation was, uh, what was it? Things that are pressed or ironed or whatever? Press. The judges accepted yeah. that, and that was the shocker. And you Thank you, judges, wherever you are. <laughs> That's terrific. Hi, Dolores. Um, there are many people anxious to know at this point, what does a lady do who just made $10,000 in one minute? Actually, you made it in 45 seconds. Oh, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'll put it away for my three children's education. Oh, that's great. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be back right after this message. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing It's a beautiful thing to put what is this you're doing? You, I want you to know he's pulled out a lot of money and he's making it look as if this dear lady is taking part of the 10,000. There's, there's another grand owing here. <laughs> Come on, now stop that nonsense. Come on. How old are your children, Dolores? Um, 15, 16, and 20. Good luck to all of them and to you. Thanks. Sandy, did you have fun today watching? Yes, I did. Ed feels better. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would wish I had been there when I realized the winning had taken place. I, I sat there like a lox. <laughs> what do they mean? What do they mean? It means you've won $10,000. Dolores, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow for now, Dick Clark. This program was recorded. This is Jack Clark speaking. Perfect. Yeah. Her turn at the end. We got it.